All right, hello everyone, and welcome back to my Fallout 4 Mod Spotlight series, where today we are having a look at the Lotta Device mod, which is being made by Quad Rioters. And what this glorious little piece of work looks to add into the game is a fun new futuristic pistol in the form of the Lotta. And oh my, it is quite the unique weapon, both in its design and aesthetics, but also in its lore, as apparently it was a pre-war experimental pistol that was meant to actually teleport its bullets to the enemy. Now, for in-game purposes, it functions exactly the same as a normal gun, so I don't know what the teleporting thing really adds to it, but hey, let's jump into the BitBoy and have a look at what we do get here. And the standard Lotta pistol will do 61 damage with a 44 round with a firing rate of 133, range of 83, accuracy of 64, and a weight of 3.3. And all in all, it's a pretty cool looking gun. Definitely, as I said, futuristic, which makes sense as if it's supposed to teleport its bullets to things, and can be made even more interesting and futuristic looking through the various modifications. Now damage wise, it's not the greatest, not the worst either. I'd say a good early to mid game gun, especially when you consider with the current modifications it has, the highest amount of damage I was able to get for this thing was uh, 75 here. So yeah, not the most powerful thing ever, but boy does it look good. And of course you can make also uh, fully automatic variants, which oddly enough actually has a lower firing rate, but we'll talk about that here more in a minute. But first, how do you get your hands on one of these guns? Well, first and foremost, you have to find it in the world. And if you just head south of Oberlin Station, you'll find the vault Tech Weapon Lab, as this was an experimental vault Tech Weapon. And inside this weapon lab, you'll find your first version of the gun, as well as the recipe about how to make it. And once you've picked up the recipe, you can go to any chemistry station and head down to utility to build a Lata pistol. And uh, yeah, once you have uh, that in hand, you just need to go, of course, to any weapon workbench and we can mod the crap out of this thing. So let's, of course, start with the receiver category where we have two receivers, one which is the the standard, which will be for 44 ammo, and the other will change it to railway spikes, which will increase the damage to 72. And of course, give a chance to stagger the enemy with those nice big railway spikes. Now, next in the barrel category, we've got a fair few more options here, where we either have no barrel, a brake barrel, a wing barrel, a pump barrel, a thruster barrel, a shear barrel, a Chris barrel, an arc barrel, and finally, the grand barrel. And each one will affect different things like range, accuracy, hip fire, uh, accuracy, etc. And of course, add some interesting looks to the thing. Now, uh, next thing we have is the capacitor, which is actually the ammunition fort or your magazine, where we either have the standard a mag capacitor for better ammo capacity, and of course an atlas capacitor for even more capacity. And then after that we can choose between either semi-automatic mode, automatic mode, or high rate of fire automatic mode, which... I mean... Yeah, the high rate of fire automatic mode is higher of a rate of fire than the automatic mode, but both of them are slower than the semi-automatic pistol by a lot. So I don't really understand these. I mean, I guess if you go with perks for, you know, uh, automatic weapons, it's beneficial, but honestly, it's just so slow. I don't really see the point. But then we have the accessory category where we have one thing, oh, well, two really, no accessory or a broken tactical flashlight. It's broken though. So, I mean, it's, it's just there. And then after that, we have the front grips, where we have a nice selection of either no front grip, a crescent front grip, trigger guard front grip, four front grip, combined front grip, and grand front grip. And then after that, our last category is the color options, where we've got either the standard, an Ender Wolf, a Nivius Leviathan, Plasma Naga, Quantum Cat, Unchained Dragon, Vigilant Otter, Wavelength Monkey, and that is all. 
And yeah, just some nice little color options to help you customize it to your liking. And that is it for the different modifications. Sadly, there's no way to upgrade the scope I would really like to. But, oh well, what are you going to do for now? So let's take a look at these things in practice. And the standard gun here is pretty fun. And we'll fire. Now, there you go, a nice uh, reload animation, which actually uses the uh, Gamma Guns reload, so, I mean, nothing too crazy there. But, uh, there we are, a good fast firing rate and controllable recoil, it's not too bad, frankly. There we are, lovely. Now let's switch over to, oh god, back over to inventory, we'll use the Dream Infant, which of course is the Railway Spikes. And there we are! Similar uh, reload animation there. Well, not similar, it's exactly the same. But, of course, a fun new different uh, projectile. And, of course, the fun attachments to this thing. I really do like all the aesthetic looks of the different modifications. Some of them, honestly, don't change it too much for me, like stat-wise. But, boy, do they look good. And, of course, here's the quote-unquote high rate of fire gun. And there we are, with 30 rounds, it's pretty manageable recoil. We only got up to about there after 30 rounds or so. So pretty easy to keep this thing on target. Now, no matter which uh, modifications you add on, since we can't change the scope, you are always stuck with this thing, eh, which isn't exactly the most wonderful or accurate thing ever. But yeah, it's functional enough, really, as long as you keep to the center, really the top rim of the scope there. Center is where the bullets are going to hit. So you can make do, but yeah, I'd really prefer to have an actual scope somewhere. Now, let's go test these out on our usual test subjects of Randy and Will, and I think we'll use the Railway Spike one, or the Dreamy Infant, boy those names, on uh, Will here, and then Randy will go after with the automatics. Let's get close so we can actually vats him, because man, I'm not going to hit him without a scope from back there. And yeah, just torso shots. There we go. Boom. 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 And... There it goes, boom. So four shots to take down Will, but remember, both Will and Randy are uh, higher leveled versions of these sorts of animals than you typically see. But yes, there we go. Let's go for the Tranquil Calf to take down Randy over here. And hi, Randy. It's time for you to get kind of automatic fire shot. The, oh, no, I didn't mean to hit that. That is not what I wanted to hit. Torso, there we go. And excellent. And there goes Randy. But yes, that is the Lata device mod. It adds in a fun new futuristic pistol that, again, apparently teleports its bullets. I really don't know how that makes any difference, but it's a fun experimental pre-war vault tech weapon that has a cool futuristic look and I just enjoy. So if you'd like to have a look at this mod for yourself, which I would certainly recommend you go and do, you can have a look at the link in the description as per usual. But that is going to be it for today. I hope you all have enjoyed and that you do come back for the next. But until that time, thank you for watching and as always, have a good one.